Hello, Internet! And today, we're finally going to be a bit more creative with what we do. Now, usually, I'm the off-meta guy, but with how the meta is going right now, you cannot be off-meta. It's practically impossible, but I made the impossible possible. Today is going to be all about Jacko. Now, usually, when you when you, when you you see this, penetrate defense by 50% and increases the time on herself, you will think, oh, she's a Rylet that's breathable. But no, there's actually a unique way to use her. But it does take skill. Now, you know what else does not take skill? skill and it's very easy to use. Blue Stacks 5! Blue Stacks 5 is a software that emulates the mobile experience on your PC. In my people's tongue, that means three different sentences. Good luck, get girlfriend, and the frame rate doesn't drop! Enjoy your mobile games on your PC without lag, unless your computer's worse than my grandma's first phone. I play Epic Swim on Bluestacks 5 since day one, and I've had zero issues. It's all smooth and seamless gameplay, just like with the multi-instance function, you can farm on multiple accounts or do what I usually do, which is in my opinion the best way to use this function. Download Bluestacks 5 now, link in the description. And hey, honestly, Bluestacks 5 is one of the best emulators out there. A lot of people ask me what emulator did I use, and this one is by far the best for me. So hey, do give it a shot or support the channel by downloading it, right? Bluestacks 5. It's like finally not being compared to your more successful cousin. So Jacko, these are the stats. Now you would realize it's it's not exactly, you know, a, a Rylet stat that you would see every day. And I'm not quite using her as a Rylet eater. You kind of like her skill here, this one, if you don't have debuff on, on the enemy, it kind of does nothing. It's so shit. And S1 as well. Unless you have debuffs on, you, you, you will practically do like not too much, right? And this is actually a bread and butter chain of cheer on. And this means that after an ally attacks, the target is stunned. And if someone is stunned, doesn't have to be the back row. Anyone of the team can be st stunning the enemy, you'll push your entire team by 20. So this is a cleave tech. And today I'll be showing that, like how to use that and stuff, right? I've actually tried this on like um, high champions in arena. Today we're up against destiny. It is your destiny to be fallen against my Jacko. We're actually not winning, huh? All right, round one. Let's just start with something easy, but I say easy, but look at this team, right? How would you ever try and cleave this shit? It's almost uncleavable, but with Jacko, the impossible is possible. Of course, of course, you also need a brain as big as mine. It's actually not that big brain. It's kind of copium. I'll explain later. Haze with Chain of Chiron, they'll attack and strip any um immunity on. And after Haze the tap, because of Chain of Chiron, we have 25% chance to land stunts. If we do not land stunts, we don't get the push up. Jacko doesn't take a turn, we lose. But if we do, then we get the push up. You can imagine how I win with this team in RTA. Basically, the enemy will be like, oh, I banned a Caesarea. You have no, you know, push up for your team. So I just cut you with like, you know, a fairly fast unit. But no, randomly I'll stun someone and get the turn out of nowhere and they're like <laughs> Round 2, this is an unlosable team. This could be a video too, right? Aras plus Celine. This shit cannot die with Aras here, I think. But yeah, we'll see. Let's go. And here we go. The first fight. I outspeed, so <laughs> let the roulette of destiny begin. <laughs> see what I did there? You're from destiny? Your guild name? I'm very unfunny because I just woke up, but whatever cases. And I had this weird dream where my pet bats died and it was so sad but there we go we get the stun and we get the push out you can imagine you're here looking at your freaking ml lilies and be like oh once once haste goes you're done but no my entire team out of nowhere took the turn here all right here's where i just murdered the bell in first i crit so that's beautiful i have 93 crit so basically 50 50 and here goes the damage here is bad what the shit am I looking at? A holy sacrifice cow. That just means I can hit anyone else and I don't have to worry about counter. But look at this as well, right? We kill one. We take an extra turn. We kill two. That's her entire kit. And we do like 29k on each. So no way they're surviving at all. And whoever is stunned, I don't have to kill them first. I still got that break on with haste. So yeah, I can just save Let's my time. Like just, you know, wait falls. until I slowly strip away about Lilith's pride and... <laughs> Most likely her clothes. Alright, so now Haze I could do S2, but S1 actually still buff, so I can technically just steal away the immunity and get it for myself. Did not work, but oh well. And yeah, Jacko too, like, look at this. My cooldown on this is so low too, right? Because if I kill one and take another turn, it's practically on one turn cooldown. I can use it every other turn if I kill someone in S3. And this S1 is like a delete button. This this S1 is just a delete button. Look at this. We're gonna do like, what, 20 something K damage? It's just 18, but let's just round it off. 20K. That is my life's P. My most beautiful cop ever in the world. Okay, I'll actually let them have defense, but because I kind of don't give a 
Damn. Aeros would go. This Aeros is a PvE Aeros, so we are probably dead. All right, they get the defense and immunity buff, so they are probably gonna hit Aeros really hard here. And if Aeros dies, he's kind of dispensable. I don't really give a shit. All right, now I'll just work on Rimuru, and we should just win this shit. Dude, how do you even do so much, Ravi? All right, now we just get me self the immortality and turn into god mode. Right, this is where I don't usually know what to say. It's kind of... Oh, oh, okay, now I know. Look at that for a barrier. All right, now I can just focus on killing someone. I'm gonna start by killing the Rimuru here. And there we go, a dead Rimuru. Now, Aeros is gonna die, but if I can make sure that my... What's the word? That my Aerami doesn't have three, um on someone on someone to kill her or him. I mean her. Everyone's a woman here. If I can just S3, I can revive him back. There's no risk here. I'm going to be able to save Ross. 100%. And I'm gonna do it. Let's just let's bring the Ross back. And yeah, we're, we're good. The question is, can Celine survive this shit? Um, if I should be attacked. Oh, no. Wait, if Celine dies, this is not funny. I have a Ross and an A Ravi. What are the chances I lose this? Don't count it. Do not, don't, do not count it. Okay, survive, 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 survive. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't count it. Do not count it. <laughs> survive, survive. Yes, yes, yes. Destroy him. Oh, it is so not even close. What? How did a cup of haste? And Jacko went so much easier than a comp with Aeros, Celine, and Aerami. Well, right, we're gonna turn up the heat here. Round one. Now, Peiro, Huayang, and Aerami is actually, you know, it's everywhere. It's so disgustingly annoying that everyone's tired of it. But with a team that I'm showing right now, I don't think you can lose to this. And the anchor is actually Yulha. So I think Yulha is better than we think because, you know, not a lot of people hype her up. In fact, a lot of people hate how she looks. She might still die to Huayang. I get that because it's attack buff. So we have a reviver here that revives you with one HP. So we can technically just revive a dead Yulha into to kill the Huayang, right? So it is very much perfect here. We have coverage on all of their um characters here. Round two, a lot of people tell me, like I explained this comp to a lot of people and they're like, dude, Rem just kills this. I have Oath Key on Haze. I have Symbol of Unity on Jacko. So hey, the chances of me winning this isn't even low, you know what I mean? So let's just give it a shot. If I have Oath Key, it's like I have 70% chance of hitting. And if I have Symbol, same. I have 70% chance of hitting the Rem. So what I'm gonna do with that team is I'm gonna just hit Rem and hope for the best. Alright, so now Peiro goes. No buffs on herself, but a tap buff on Huayang and a Ravi. a Ravi will only go for um, the light unit here, which will not kill me, right? Huayang will only go for Yulher here, which if you kill me, sure. If you don't, I'm just gonna bring you back with um Emma Celine. And you do not kill me, so I get my barrier. Eat up your freaking whatever that is. So there we go. 851 HP Yulha with a full force symphony of agony. You're about to weep in agony. That's what you are about. So let's destroy the lion first. Yo, we practically can't lose now. Yulha will go. We'll actually heal back to full here. And boom. Oh, well, it's not full. It's about half. So yeah, good to know. Now, Emily Liz gets to go. At this point, we only need to worry about Hera stunning me. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I definitely saw that not happening. All right, you know what? There is sort of a weakness here. If I get stunned there, I, 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 I don't think I win. Actually, wait a minute. I can redirect the provoke this shit, right? Yo. All right, this kind of would go. And with Zidrado, I got a death break on, so you stand no chance. And hey, I can redirect the provoke a Peira if I need to. So Peira will be stuck hitting Yulha instead. So hey, it's still a pretty good team to bring into this. And that's a dead Peira. Dude, like, this comp had so many people struggle with it, right? That's why so many people put this comp on defense. And damn, with a Yulha? It actually turns out pretty damn easy. Okay, here we go. This one is madness, though. Let's give it a shot. And we... Oh, shit. Now we have a 25% chance of losing. <gasps> no, please. There is a way. There's no way. Okay, guys, listen. L listen. There is not a team that's gonna win everything, okay? Damn it. I have 70% chance to hit the rem there. So I'm gonna say that I got unlucky, bro. What the shit? Round one. Let's do this again. Everyone told me rem was gonna destroy me, but I made her my mission in life. By just copiuming harder than everyone else. Oh, Kihei, similar Unity, Jacko. I should hit the rem easily. Round two. I don't know. I feel like MS Link is just my 
everything. So if I run out of ideas, yeah, sure, and that's Lena. I just realized I don't want to give anti crit to her. Shit. You know what? This is a shoe game, bro. If I win the first fight, and I'm pretty sure this guild is pretty, you know, they're pretty. <gasps> ah! We can still win this. We can't. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, what? How? That is not even possible, bro. You can't tell me that's consequently a 15% that happened just now. That has to be your problem, right? If I get 15% in everything, <laughs> that is insane. But whatever the case, this will do the. And we finally crit the rem. Dude, okay, I have 70% chance. So if I miss one, the next hit I know, I know I'm gonna hit. Look at who's stunned now. Oh, jeez. And look at who's dead now. Freaking uh, whoever your name is, Miss. Mrs. Cat Diva. KW. Wow, Mrs. I tank shit too. Jeez. But I should be totally fine though. I mean, watch if she takes a turn here. So all I have to do here, I'm literally gonna die to the bleed of all things from Haze and I'm gonna just kill the Rem here. Not really one. Look at this shit, dude. Yo. Right, here's where I can... Yeah, Haze kind of deals why I'm pretty well too. I can steal her barrier. There you go. God. And bang. That's a dead... Lily is dead to a haste. It's just funny, man. Dead to a haste. All right, now this thing stands no chance against like a full onslaught of triple, you know, triple threat, right? Yeah, no way. I've got SG now. This thing has like no cooldown. Let's just do it. This should absolutely murder you if I crit you, right? There's no way you're living this. So boom, I crit you and there you go. It still does a bit. It's just not as much as what you would expect from like a 50% death pen skill, but whatever the case is, we won. So we're gonna move on. I just realized I said I don't want to bring an anti-crit and I still brought an anti-crit. Shit! Bro, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm actually a failure in life. It's okay. I just don't want to ask you to shoot it. It's, it's whatever, man. I mean, they still have an AoE that I can probably counter on. I don't even know, man. Why? I bought two. I brought two anti-crits. I, I thought I brought Rimuru and I thought, yo, I was still there anti-crit. That ain't good. Now I brought Shu that buffs anti-crit and shows that that buffs anti-crit. What is wrong with me, man? We'll just not do any skill with shoot. Shoot can still be good, okay? S1, S2, that thing hurts, bro. That thing hurts. Well, this is a fucking embarrassment. And we can legit just proc it into killing you here. Counter is annoying. And proc it? You don't push? Counter? You, 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 you don't? You, you don't? All right. Okay, guys. And the fact that that freaking Mercedes just crit shoot like it's free. What the shit, bro? All right. Proc it now. Proc it now. Proc it right now. Yes, shoot. All right, that's a dead ass whoever her name was right, we should win this now right there's no way i don't i don't even need i don't even oh wait a minute no we're fine yeah we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine i don't even need to use shoes um freaking s3 to win this bro yo all right so that almost kills it and it does so now we're just gonna focus on the end we've already won this there's no way we lose i don't think all right now we played a waiting game this is one of the times I, i've been doing this for a year and a half or like maybe even more i still don't know what to say when it comes to a bruiser fight where i kind of just you know, show everything on repeat. Like, what do I even say here, dude? Um, we're gonna hit the end and murder her. Maybe I'll just moan until this is over. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Ow. Oh, shit. Wait. Wait. Ho, ho, ho. Ow. Yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, bang and bang and come on shoe i'm telling you man you thought yeah look at you look at this team right here that's uncleavable you thought oh nothing's impossible my guy yeah that's also really enjoy subscribe channel have yourself a wonderful day and yeah take care